Now, um, the trick we used in the derivation of the autocorrelation of the binomial counting process is, uh, is quite useful. And essentially we call that independent increments. Okay, we used independence of B of N1 and B of N2 minus B of N1. Well, this part is the sum from I uh, N1 plus one to N2 I of I. Okay, so we use this independence and this independence is uh, what we call independent increments. The random process X of T doesn't have to be discrete time or discrete value has independent increments if x of t1, x of t2 minus t1, x of t3 minus t, x of t2, x of t4 minus x of t3, etc. x of tk minus x of tk minus one. All of these, well, these are increments, you see? This is the increment from zero to t1, okay? Well, assuming that x of zero is zero. This is the increment from t1 to t2. This is the increment from t2 to t3. Okay, assuming that of course T1 less than T2, less than T3, less than T4, etc., up to TK. For any choice of these TKs while preserving this order, if these increments are independent, okay, for any choice of the T values, then we say this random process has independent increments. Okay, if X of N is an IID process, each uh, uh, time instant has an uh, uh, independent distribution of the others, then the sum process associated with it will always have independent increments, okay? This is a very important property, which is very useful, okay? We have just used it in the derivation of the autocorrelation for a binomial counting process. Another very important property is what we call stationary increments, okay? so we. We talked about the independence just now, and now we will talk about their the, uh, distribution. A random process X of T has stationary increments. If X of T2 minus X of T1, the increment from time T1 to T2 has the same distribution with X of T2 plus tau minus X of T1 plus tau. That means if you shift the time origin, okay, if the increment between the two time instants has still the same distribution for n choice of t1, t2, and tau, then x of t has stationary increments. Again, if x of n is an IID process and the sum process associated with it will have stationary increments. It's really easy to show this. I'm going to leave it to you. But one pointer here, S of N2 minus S of N1. This is the increment in the sum process from N1 to N2. And obviously this is equal to um, N1 plus one from N1 plus one to N2, the sum of Xi's. It will have the same distribution with S of N2 minus N1, okay? I from one up to N2 minus N1 of Xi's. Simply because you have N2 minus N1 Xi's here, which are all independent and has the same distribution. And it's the same here. N2 minus N1 Xi's, they are all IID. Therefore, therefore this sum and this sum will have the same distribution. And clearly, uh, since binomial counting process is defined as the sum process associated with the IID Bernoulli sequence, it has both independent increments and stationary increments. And we have made use of the independent increments property in deriving its autocorrelation function.